Hello everyone. This is Mark Fennell, aka Quantum Dancer. And today I'm going to talk to you about all the world's a stage and we are merely players. It's one of Shakespeare's greatest lines. I don't know exactly what Shakespeare meant by it, but based on my experiences, he might have the same intentions that I do. Because I strongly believe that Shakespeare actually was a spiritualist. I believe that Shakespeare was connected and had his own personal experiences, much of which he put into his plays where he could. Okay? So I'm going to talk to you about this from a spiritual perspective and what that can mean. And we will use the theater analogy. Another thing to mention before I begin this is I started my life on the stage, actually. When I was in high school, I was on the high school theater. It was the uh, high school theater and the community theater between freshman and senior year of high school. I was in multiple plays in, in both um, both high school and the community. So I'm familiar with the idea of being on stage. And then, of course, doing my presentations, you're on stage and seeing the audience and all that stuff. But I'm familiar with the idea of being theater, playing a role on stage. There's an audience out there. Okay? Now, when you are on the stage, you are playing a character, but you are also aware that there's a... a uh, audience out there. I mean, you know this. So you do things like the way where the director has you stand, the way you walk, of course projecting your voice far out there, because you know there's an audience. Okay? You know that, and they're, they're out there. So you, you're aware of this. But if we take it here as our lives, a lot of us don't know this. We have our own life here on the stage. And we don't know that there's anybody out there. We don't think there is anything out there, most of us. Right? We think the stage is all there is. This, this stage, whatever we see, this earthly plane, our existence, this whole thing here is all there is. We don't know what's... We can't see beyond the, the border of the stage. Right? That's for most of us. Now, some of us have ventured beyond the stage. And once you venture beyond the stage, you start seeing things. All right, let's just use the stage analogy. You walk off the stage. You see that there are rows and rows of seats. You see there are people in the seats. And they've actually been watching you. How weird is that, right? Okay. There's different levels of seats. You got the ones in the front rows. You got the mezzanines and tiers, and way up there you got the uh, the royalty box. You know the the expensive places where places like the uh, the kings and queens and and the presidents and prime ministers have their their royalty boxes up there at the top. In their own private area. Right? So once you start exploring this, you realize, wow, there's more beyond my stage than what I thought. There are people actually watching us on stage. Different types of people. They're getting different vantage points. It's, it's, it's quite an amazing thing. And this is exactly the way it works in the metaphysical realm. This earthly plane is, in a sense, a stage. It's a large stage, but it's a stage. And we do our thing. We do our thing. Some of us know that there's a beyond. Some people don't. But whether you know or not, it's there. And like the theater, there's people out there. They're at different levels. They're different positions. And they're watching. They're watching, they're enjoying, sometimes they cheer us on, and they do actually influence us. 
Now that gets a bit out of the actual theater stage analogy, so that it kind of breaks down at that point. But but the idea is that they are these levels are out there, right? And from my experiences, I have actually been up to different levels. I have even had escorts who will bring me to escorts that'll bring me to a particular person sitting in a particular seat, a particular level where I get to meet a few particular people. And I've been even introduced to some of the people in the, the higher boxes where the royalty sits. I've been, I've been introduced there. Then of course there's backstage. There are things that go on backstage that the, you know, who owns this theater and what goes on behind it and those sorts of things. There's, there's mechanics back there. And if you're lucky, you get to see a little bit of that. And I, I was shown some of the, a couple times I've been shown some of the mechanics behind the theater operations and the metaphysical realms. So, all the world's a stage, and we are merely players. You can go your whole life just enjoying this earthly plane and not thinking about anybody who's out there. But, many of us do know there are people out there that are watching us. You know, we're... I don't want to see that we're entertainment for them. I mean, they can do other things out there. They can actually leave the theater and go other places. But... They are watching us. A lot of them are they watching us. They're entertained by us. Sometimes they want to influence us. They cheer us on. You know. You can almost think of it like, you know, like when um, in a movie, you know, when some of these action movies and it's designed to get the audience involved. And they say, don't go in that door. Don't go in that door. All right. And so... That's what it's like. So the people in the audience, they'll say, don't go in that door, don't go at that door. And if you hear them, you get this idea, hmm, maybe I shouldn't go in that door. Not realizing it came from beyond out there. Or in a movie, you know, you cheer for the hero when he's successful. You're very proud of him. They're proud of you too. If they've been watching you go through something and they've been enjoying the, you know, watching the show, they've been seeing your trials and tribulations and then you finally achieve something great, then they're going to applaud for you. They love that. They love you to succeed. They love that. And they'll applaud for you, and they will cheer for you. And you may hear them, you may not hear them, but they they want that. Of course, you know, the actual reality metaphysical gets beyond that. I mean, they influence you, and they guide you, and the other sorts of things. But if you consider us as a theater, and as a stage, that there are people beyond the stage at various levels, and they will cheer you on, and they will watch you, sometimes silently, sometimes vocally, sometimes they'll tell you what to do, don't go in that door, go in that door, oh, you want to go over there, trust me, the woman you want to meet, she's down the road, and you may hear it actual specifically, or make it this thought in your mind, hmm, I think maybe if I go down that road, I might meet the woman I want to meet. Not realizing it's from your audience member who can see the stage, the broader stage, and, and uh, cheer you on. So that's how that works. All the world's a stage, and we are merely players. For my many, many years of experiences, this is how it works. Now here's something else that I often think about. I have gone through all these different places out there and then come back and your life has changed. Look, everybody thinks that this world, so many people think the world that this stage is all there is. They don't believe there's anything out there. They don't hear anything out there. But not only is there an audience, there's multiple levels, multiple people. It, and here you've been, you've gotten, you've gotten invited 
I'll say invited, escorted to certain levels of the stadium. You've gotten invited, escorted to meet certain members of royalty in their royalty boxes. Which is, you know, it's a wonderful privilege. I mean, very few people get invited to those boxes. Very few people get invited to meet those, you know, those, those level of, of uh, the level of royalty in the metaphysical realm. And after coming through all that, you come back down to the stage and you try to interact with everybody. The thing is, now you know that there's this whole theater behind you. You know there's this whole theater, there's this whole stadium, there's all these, all these people. So no longer are you living your life just here, now, in the present, interacting with your fellow actors. You're very aware, well, you're aware, you're aware of the audience behind you. And again, this is very similar to the idea of, you know, when I first started in the theater in high school, you know there's an audience out there. Even when you're in character and you're interacting with your other people on stage, you glance out of the corner of your eye and you see them sitting out there. You see them watching. You can, you can feel their, player, your, uh, their presence. You know, you can hear their laughter at the jokes. You can hear them applause. Okay, so it's, you're aware of this. And you can never not be aware of it. Right? And of course, sometimes you can physically hear it better than others, physically see it better than others, and they're really then you're really hyper aware and you hear, see, feel them. Just as if you're on stage and in, in the real stage and you just, you know, your your eyes glance and you know they're there. But then what if it's dark out there? What if it's totally dark on the stage, beyond the stage? As an actor, totally dark. They're out there, but there's no lights, so you can't see them. Think, think of like in that terms. But you know that they're there. You know that they're there. Because you've been with them. You've talked to them. Okay, every once in a while you still hear a clap. You'll still hear a voice. And even if you can't see or hear them at all while you're going through your life, you know that they're there. You know that they're there. Meanwhile, everybody else who's on the stage, who has never left the stage, they're not aware. They're all in here, and sure, they're actually more in the moment. They're more connected with each other. They're, they are really connected with each other, and they're really involved with each other, and they're really here connected. But I'm not as connected. Not not in this sense. Because I've been out there. I, I know it's out there. So it's hard for me to be connected here. While I still know what's out there. It's hard for me to be connected here when I still know what's out there. And trying to work among people, interact with people, and try to be part of this mundane world. When you've had all these experiences out there, it's really difficult. It's really... Your entire way you act on stage is completely different. Because now I know there's an audience back there. I've also been given direction. I've had some directors. I've had some directors give me some great advice. Say, you know, the way you want to play this role is this. One of the main things you're going to do on this stage, in this lifetime, is this. So I get, I get directors. I mean, imagine if Steven Spielberg was directing you as an actor. That's, that's kind of what it's like. Right? You're getting good director, good good actor direction for your life from some of the great directors out there. So I have that too. 
So it's not just anymore now, it's not just me on the stage trying to interact with people. It's I'm playing for an audience as well as interacting with the people. I'm listening to my directors and following the director's advice while I'm here interacting with the people. It's a much more, it's bigger, it's broader, it's more complex. It's, it's much more complex in, the, in that way. And people who've never left don't quite understand. And some people, they'll, they'll see the first couple rows, they'll see the first five rows. They go, yeah, I think there's something out there. But that's all they see. So they're, at least they're aware and I can talk to them. Because they're aware of something beyond this. But they still have not been escorted out and met all the people I have out there. Now, if you have, and you have to find them very rarely, but they're very, very, very rare. Very rare. Which again is one of my things, you know, the I've been escorted up there with a lot of direct and say, when you come back on stage, try to get them to see what's up there. Try to get them to well they're they're their earthly plane, try to try to improve their their play. You're gonna improve their play on this stage the best you can from the inside with your extended knowledge and communication with the outside. Here's another point. There is uh, something called the, I think they call it the fourth wall in the theater, where there's some, some um, there's a few plays that do this. I think No Time for Sergeants is, is one of them. Because mostly, you know, a theater is a theater. You know, you're, if you're watching a play, the characters are here. And they're not supposed to know about what's out there. But in Breaking the Fourth Wall, one of the actors turns to the audience and talks to them, knowing that the audience is there. Now, in a lot of plays, to do this, there's a narrator who's not part of the actors, and that keeps it separate. But in some cases, the actors and the narrator at the same time. They go out, and they come back. They go out, they come back. So if you watch, watch a theater version, um, or I think it's on the film version, like No Time for Sergeants, where he does some of this. Um, and you'll see some some films do this as well. You'll see the film go by, and then you'll see the actor, the character, look directly in the camera, knowing like, yeah, we know this is silly. That scene you saw, that was just silly. We know that. Wink, wink. And then goes back to being the character. So that happens sometimes. Now the reason I bring this up is, is an analogy of the way. I try to work my life because there are two directions. I call it horizontally and vertically. Horizontally is with the people, communicating with the people, being present with the people, making connections with people, making friends with people, working with people, having fun with people, here, together, you know, that. But vertically, which is to all the metaphysical realms that are out there. And that's again where sometimes you have to break character and go talk to your audience, which is, you know, I walk to the edge of the stage and I talk to my spirit guides. I talk to who my audience who I know is out there. I said, okay, you know, you know, I've met you so there's audiences out there, so I'm going to talk to, I know an audience out there, so I'll say, you know, all right, so Langston Hughes, you've come by several times. 
or George Harrison. You've come by several times. You've, you've talked to me. So I'm going to ask you a question. I'm having difficulty with this. So what do you think I should do? You're out there. you got a broader view. What do you think? That's kind of like breaking the fourth wall in the theater analogy. You got to go out there, talk to your metaphysical audience, and hopefully they'll give you some advice, some tips. What do you think? You know, you know, show me a sign, give me direction, what should I do? And then if you're lucky, they'll they'll talk to you verbally will actually come and speak to you or they'll speak to you psychically or you know they'll they'll put something huge into your life in the next few minutes hour or day they'll you'll get a phone call you'll get an idea to go somewhere and that was their way of saying okay this is the answer this is what I think is best okay they always know what's best no you know they're they're just doing what they think. If you ask for my opinion, you ask for my advice, this is what I think. You can act on it or not. So, so the analogy there of the theater breaking the fourth wall, right? And then you come back in the, in the theater sense, you break the fourth wall, then you come back and play character. So that's what you do. You step away from all the world of stage. You go talk to your audience, your metaphysical people who are watching you and guiding you journey on then you come back and now you interact one on one in your character of who you are on this stage in this lifetime so, all the world's a stage and we are merely players I don't know exactly what Shakespeare meant but I do believe Shakespeare was referring to something like that. I do believe, I believe for a while that Shakespeare was connected to the metaphysical realms, he was communicating with them, he saw things, and so on and so forth. And I believe all the world's a stage and we are merely players was one of his lines to throw in there as clues of what's going on out there. Because one of his other famous lines is, there's more out there than all I've dreamt of in your philosophy. Or something like that. There's, there's more out there than is dreamt in all your philosophy, Horatio. I think it is. Anyway, so, yes, all the world's a stage. We are merely players. But that doesn't mean we are only do what we are told to do. We are not robots. Right? We're not robots. Not in that sense. We are, it is not a specific character, specific dialogue, specific action, specific roles. It's not like that. It's like, this is our stage. We are the actors. You know, now, work with it. Work with it. And if there's a stage, there's a beyond the stage. And all our metaphysical friends are beyond the stage. Our friends who have gone by, angels, archangels, other people I've met in the higher tiers, who I can't tell you. I can't tell you who they are, I can't tell you their names, but yeah, I've seen some people in the higher tiers. Yeah, they're out there. So I'm hoping this can help you realize there's a world beyond ours. We interact with it this way and this way. You know, here with our friends and metaphysical guidance. And on a personal level, I have seen so much that's beyond the stage to come back here and try to be directly with the people when I know what's out there at all times. When I know I'm an audience, there's an audience out there watching me. Just when I know so much about that, it's 
I cannot totally be focused on this anymore. Not when I know what's out there. Who's out there? It's very difficult to be focused in here. And if you see me, interact with me, you'll hopefully you'll understand better why that is. Once you know, once you've experienced, you've actually been to these levels and then try to come back. You never see this the same way again. You never see your stage the same way again. That is all for now. Hope I gave you some good things to think about.